So the thousand days being a time from when the woman, the mom first becomes pregnant to the second birthday of, of her child. And nutrition just so, so vitally important there. The physical growth, uh, the cognitive uh, growth and development, health, productivity, the ability to thrive basically comes from these thousand days. But then it's also the most important period by extension of the development of families, communities, nations, societies, and the world as a whole. So countries that have maybe 30, 40 percent of their ch child, of their children under, under five uh, being malnourished, the cost for these countries can, is, is six, eight, ten percent annual loss of GDP equivalent. That's a huge loss. Ethiopia did calculations, it was like 16 percent annual GDP equivalency loss due to childhood malnutrition and stunting. That's a huge cost. So you ask yourself, well, why do some places in the world remain poor? It's because their children are getting off to a lousy start in life. I mean, agriculture I think, is where it all starts. So you have organizations like Harvest Plus, which has been pioneering uh, biofortification. Uh, and that's basically highlighting the nutritious, the nutrient content that's already in crops. So beans have iron. So through breeding you can increase the iron content of those beans so become high iron beans. You see them being introduced in, in a number of countries around the world. So I think this kind of a nutrition smart, kind of nutrition oriented agriculture uh, I think is really helping and really you know having momentum. I mean what I'd dearly like to see happen is that the phrase the first thousand days or the thousand days becomes this, this international uh, household phrase. You hear the first thousand days, you know immediately what it means. Oh, the importance of nutrition in this very critical period of, of a child's life and in the life of our, of our society and our world.